I was looking up flights because it's thunderstorming all week next week in New York from Wednesday to Saturday. It's only 280 round trip per person. And as far as itinerary goes, since I'm going into a country that I pretty much know nothing about, I'm following Christina's itinerary. She actually inspired me to do a solo trip to Iceland, but Andy wanted to come with because he's never been, I've never been, so we thought we'd just do it together instead. One of the last places on earth to be settled by humans. It is home to 170 geothermal pools and some of the most unique attractions in the world. Follow along as we take you on a spontaneous expedition around Iceland for the next four days. What's up guys? Currently in Iceland. We're at Bonus. It's a discounted grocery store. It was recommended by actually a lot of people. They told us to come here and grocery shop instead. So we're going to be car camping. Annie's currently buying some apples. Is it per pound? I don't know, but it's 298, which translates to 280. And if it's each, that's that's a lot. Dang, B, you got red peppers? You only get a two pack and it's $8.45. Okay, so four days and three nights, all we have is four bottles of water, Pringles, a bag of Doritos, and blankets. And it came out to 1033 which is equivalent to about $9.72. Um, as of right now, I would say it's kind of like New York. Our grocery store is pretty expensive also. This probably would have costed us the same thing. Getting a sandwich right now at Subway of all places. A foot long is like fourteen dollars here. What do you think? What do you think about that? Great. Great? Yeah, hungry. Okay, so we routed ourselves to the to Diamond Beach, which is just a black sand beach um, with glaciers washed up on the shore. But we actually came across the other side, and it's a glacier lagoon. And yo, it's so nice. So we just got to the campsite. We're in the town called Vik right now. It's the second largest city in Iceland and it's actually super, super small. There's not much here other than a bunch of hotels and this huge campsite. There's like a bunch of camper vans and people actually camping outside. We're setting up the back seat right now and he's gonna put down the two seat or the seats of the back so we can sleep. But look how bright it is outside right now. It's actually 1 a.m. Morning. It's currently 8.55 a.m. We woke up and it was pouring. We're just waiting for it to clear a little bit hopefully so we can visit some of the um, locations. It feels so awkward from vlogging in the bathroom, but it's actually super nice. I was actually kind of scared about using the public bathrooms, but look at this. Okay, Nordstrom, is this you? So we just stopped off at this cute little cafe. Um, you have coffee for like $5, hot chocolate for $6, espresso for 4 We're now at the grocery store trying to get some breakfast and I'm just gonna do a little quick overview of how much like the average grocery item costs. This is a green juice, about $2.99. Not bad. It's cheap. New York is probably like 60 bucks. Avocados are about $4.29 for a bag, which I'm not mad about. Ooh, dang. This is huge. This is five freaking dollars. But look how big it is compared to my phone. You have your juice section. This one is about $2.00. For one liter. Instant ramen is about 30 cents per pack. Bread costs about three, a little less than 350 for a loaf of bread. But this though, a chocolate cake will run you about $10. Okay, so we just left the grocery store and for breakfast we got two cup of noodles, two ham and cheese croissants, 
two green juices, three bananas, and Andy got cotton pads for his face, but that costed 1380 kronas, which is equivalent to about $13. And also a good thing to keep in mind is that you can get hot water or just water for free anywhere you go. All the stops that we made, we were able to fill up our water bottles for free and the water is super fresh here, so that's a good thing to keep in mind. So if you guys want to get like cup noodles like we did, you can just have a quick and easy meal just like that. Look at us, we're hella lazy. <laughs> we slept on the 85 mil and look, we don't even have to get out the car. It's raining outside it's too. It's raining out there, hell no. Let me see that transition though. Ooh, Ooh. kill him. <laughs> That's how you get that smooth B-roll. <laughs> Look what Andy came to Iceland with, y'all. Protein powder. Now, TSA PreCheck was like, what is this? And he was like, protein powder. And they are like, uh, protein powder, bro? The fact that he has it in a plastic bag, too, that's so sus. So we found a bunch of horses. I pulled over and I'm putting on this dress now. I got it from Spell and the Gypsy. I actually still have a tag on it. But I want to get a picture with the horses. Hey, Andy. 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 Hey, I'm about to give you a tour of our new crib. So, 100 square feet apartment in New York City for $4,000. You have a closet over there. You have a window right here and you can actually bring the curtains up if you wanted to. And then you also have your bed right here. And then you also have an office right here. You know, if you ever want to edit or you know, you can put everything down here and then edit on here, you know what I'm saying? And then you have your bathroom right here with your toiletries and stuff. So we just finished shooting at Skoga Foss Waterfall. Alright, take it off. My dress. Cold as hell. Now back in my office, importing some footage onto my hard drive. I'm using the Samsung Portable SSD T5. It's like 500 gigabytes. A necessity for road trip is this Duracell power strip. It has two USB cords and two plugs. It just plugs into the thing that goes in the car, you know what I'm saying? And that's how we're able to charge our laptop and our cameras. And he came back with the goods. Spent this $30. is dollars. Thirty dollars. What you get? Fries and a burger. Yeah. Ooh, with bacon with the bacon. And he also got a hot chocolate. There's a uh, restaurant right next to Sk Skogafoss. Currently 11 p.m. and look how bright it is outside right now. It's it blows my mind how late the sun sets and how early the sun rises. I wanted to talk about accommodations and the reason why we decided to car camp instead of doing uh, B and Bs and hotels was just simply because since the sun sets so late and rises so early, we didn't think it makes sense to sleep at a hotel for like three hours a night and then just leave again. And also, we didn't want to rely on having to find a place close to the next destination that we're going to visit. So it's nice to just sleep at an area, wake up, and then just shoot right away. I've had no problems finding bathrooms. There's restaurants at most of the tourist attractions. There are a lot of campsites around Iceland. All you have to do is type campsites on Google Maps and it'll tell you all the different campsites. They have showers there and bathrooms. I also noticed a lot of people car camping. Like you can rent actual car camper vans or um, just a car like this and then you just sleep in the back. But if you guys are more into comfort, then I would recommend getting a camper van. And uh, there's plenty. I'm at Skoga Falls right now, the waterfall, and there's a campsite here also. Some people actually camp in tents outside, but there's also a bunch of camper vans, so that's cool. Um, I looked at hotels and it was about 300 something a night, but I did look last minute, so just for the sake of knowing how much hotels cost. But I guess for makes the most sense to us is just sleeping in the car, waking up, shooting, sleeping for a little bit, and then shooting sunrise again. So it really is just based on preference. Shooter schedule. Shooter schedule. You feel me? 
We missed sunrise this morning. It would have been perfect to do the plane wreck since it was overcast, but we slept in and now it's super sunny. The sun actually decided to come out and it's really warm today, surprisingly, but it's way too harsh to shoot the plane wreck. So we're just killing time and waiting. We're at a hidden waterfall right now, right next to Skogafoss. Skogafoss is like right behind us. And there's a waterfall right here that no one usually, or it's not as popular. So um, we're just joining it because we're too lazy to walk. <laughs> Where, where did I get you from? Introduce yourself. Yeah, you gotta introduce yeah. yourself. We just met in the Black Sand Beach in <laughs> Wick. Uh huh. And now I show you this beautiful cave and crash my drone. <laughs> <laughs> We just got to the blue lagoon. It's currently like 10 a.m. Oh my god, the main lagoon is super busy. Last minute we decided to upgrade to the retreat spa. We get a private entrance to the blue lagoon. And from what I saw, there's like no one else in it but like another couple. And then you get a private changing room. We have robes on this side. Two showers with rain shower, rain head showers. <laughs> putting on a silica mask. It's funny because one of the ingredients for flashback and makeup has silica in it. So this is interesting, but it does make your skin really, really soft. It's crazy because we're at the Blue Lagoon right now. There's pure like Icelandic water right next to it. So we're currently at Taco Bell right now and here's a little breakdown of the price. So I got two Taco Supremes and that is equivalent to $13 for two tacos. KFC, it's $14 for two pieces of chicken, which is insane. That's what Andy got. Want to tell him where we're at? KFC Sizzle. I used to work here. Okay, so Andy ended up getting KFC and I got Taco Bell. I got two Taco Supremes and then he got a two-piece and also corn. And our total for all of this is $30, about $30. This alone was $15 for just two pieces. This was separate. He had to pay extra for the corn. And then my two tacos alone were $13, which, dang. It's worth super windy. Ready? Go. What do you want me to say? It's cold. I don't know. Something about the weather. It's cold as fuck. Hey. 